so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And the starting 11 for Spurs. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Pierre-Emil Hoybier plays with Rodrigo Bentancur in the centre of midfield. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. And we're looking at a player who seems to be at the peak of his powers, Hyung Min Son. In what way might he contribute today, Stuart? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. And in with a real chance. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Underway once more. Tottenham have the lead. A bit of running room now on the wing. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Intense pressure. Losing possession a bit easily. Oh, big chance. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. So, a level contest. 1-1. Bentancur. Hyung Min Son. And taking it away. Ivan Perisic. No foul. Spurs advantage. Son. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? A fine reading of the situation. Out of play. And a Spurs throw-in forthcoming. Perisic. They've got it now. What can they do? Kane! It's still alive. Opportunity it is. Is it going to be? And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Now having fallen behind, what sort of response will that elicit from this Spurs team? And with that, now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. He'll take this on. But in truth, it could have been more challenging for the goalkeeper. Bobby Reid. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Throw in here for Spurs. Kane. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity.
And short it is. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Promising looking ball. Opportunity here. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Son. Perisic with the ball. Kane. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Oh, he's through here! And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Well, approaching half-time on the home side, very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I've really liked the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from their markers, and the speed of their attacks as well. It's been a really impressive first oh, half. Oh, Stewart's a chance! Vigorous defending! On a time for composure on the ball. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Mitrovic. And Palinha with it. Gives it a go. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Well, being pressed here. Just not looking confident in possession. Well, there it is. Half time. The first half. as they get the ball rolling again interesting to see how this second half pans out Reed. here's William crossed into the penalty area oh dear not really troubling the goalkeeper at all Stuart well from that range he should be scoring and he knows it Romero And now with Kulusevski. Emerson. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. On a pass that lacks quality. And support available. He's in behind. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Danger averted for now. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. Well, they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green. Perhaps they can create another chance now. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, but tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Oh, in with a chance! Will he? And cleared off the line. And he stopped them in their tracks. Thirty minutes to go then. Dejan Kulusevski. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Well, 
Melbourne doing well to regain possession. Well, there you can see it. The hosts haven't been able to control possession, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Really good interception. Well, he's dicing with trouble here, having already been booked. Well, maybe a little fortunate, Stuart, not to see a second yellow. Well, he has to be careful. That's a really silly challenge. Pabier. Now Harry Kane. Well, Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Bentancourt. They might be able to get in now. Bentancourt. Reflex action par excellence from Bernd Leno. Now how about the short corner? Dyer. Interception to snuff out the danger. Well, that's one for them to pursue. The end product just wasn't there. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle, and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play, and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. An alert intervention. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Ivan Perisic. Son. Bentancourt and a tidy tackle Reed. is it going to be? well we really have to call that a squandered opportunity Stuart well what a waste that is it's far too easy for the keeper he should have made him work harder there Pedro Porro Javier Bentancourt with it Son. Now room to roam for Spurs on the wing. He's in here. Surely. Not trying the chip, but he got the execution all wrong. Well, if he had the chance again, I think he'd choose another option. Not even close in the end. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to...